Hi, in today's Science Inquiry module, we're going to be using Science Inquiry to help us determine the health of our animals. In today's scenario, we're asking the question, is my goat not feeling well? Why has his behavior changed? Today, we're going to send youth out in pairs on a fact-finding mission to look at things like the feed bunks, the quality of the feed, the feed storage area, the water trough, the droppings of the goat, the pasture condition, are there invasive species out there that could be harmful to the goat? We're going to ask them to look at all of those different things and see if we can come to a conclusion as to why the goat is not acting normal and whether or not we need to contact a veterinarian. We're not veterinarians and we don't have the expertise needed to diagnose a goat if it truly is sick. But in terms of contacting the vet, we want to have a well-documented list of information that we can provide them upon arrival if we need to go that far. Let's head out to the barn and check it out. We're giving you a scenario, basically one that's not true, but in the event that it was true, this is the, how we're going to proceed. So, our hypothetical situation today is that Bucky, the goat, has become ill. Now remember, he's not ill, and we need to collect some data, we need to look for some information as to why or what is causing Bucky to not feel well. Can you help me with this? Yes. yes. Alright, so let's team up in groups of two, and let's send you out to see what you can come up with. What are you guys finding? Anything good back there? No, not really. It looks pretty good to me. It's looking clean, no dust, no mold, anything like that? Well, there no. is some dust at the bottom. Oh, there is some dust at the bottom, okay. He doesn't eat that, though. He doesn't eat the dust, okay. So did you mark that down on your sheets, whatever you see? Mm, not yet. Not yet. All right, but you're gonna mark it down there and move yeah. on to the next thing. You guys think, yeah. you guys are feeling good about that? Yeah. All right, good job. What are you guys seeing? What are we looking at here? The droppings. The droppings? What are you seeing? What are you noticing? Well, they're not runny, so he doesn't have diarrhea. Okay, so that's a good thing. What else do you notice? Well, there's nothing unusual. Nothing unusual? So what do you mean by unusual, like not unusual? So what's it? Well, they're firm and round like pellets. Oh, okay. They're firm, round like pellets. Is that normal then for a goat? Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Are you ready to move on to the next thing then? Yeah. Alright, let's go check it out. What are you guys seeing? Well, we've got some blackberry plants. Blackberry plants, okay. Yeah. What else are you seeing? Anything unusual? Anything out of the norm? No. Nothing that you think would look potentially harmful or poisonous to, to Bucky the goat? No. No, nothing unusual. All right, so maybe on to the next thing. What do you guys got next? Water buckets. Water buckets, all right. Let's go check it out. Yeah, what are you guys finding in here? We're finding some dirt. Some and dirt? Lots yeah. of algae. Yeah. Algae, okay. And also some hay in here. Too. Some hay? Yeah. So we got some hay and some dirt. What's the algae? How do you know it's algae? What it's do you mean? It's green. And I think it's slimy. I didn't touch it though. Oh, so is that <laughs> the stuff that's sticking to the side? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You think this could be what's causing Bucky to be ill? Probably. Probably. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you mark it down on your sheet what you're seeing, what you're finding? Right. All right. Gonna so we're going to do that and then move on to the next thing. Yep. Right. Awesome. Good job, guys. All right, ladies, you made it back. What did you find? What did you see? What did you look at? Tell me about it. What kind of data did you collect? water trough needs to be cleaned. Oh, so you looked at the water trough? Yes. Yeah. Alright, and discovered that perhaps it's time to change the water. Mm -hmm. We checked out the pasture, and the pasture was good. Like, lots of, lots of nice green grass. Oh, lots of good green grass. You didn't see any invasive species, any weeds or anything like that? No. no? Alright, so based upon the information that you guys have collected, what do you think we should do at this point? Remember, this is a hypothetical situation, but we've observed that Bucky is not feeling well. We can't find anything that's making him sick. So what do you guys think we should do? We should watch him for a few days, and if he doesn't get better, we should call a vet, because he could have like the flu or something. Okay, so maybe keep observing him for a couple more days. So basically what I'm hearing you say then is continue to observe him, continue to observe the surroundings and check out things in the surroundings. And if he doesn't improve greatly, then perhaps we need to call a vet, right? Because we're not veterinarians, and we're, we're not here to diagnose anything. We're just here to observe and gather some information for for this situation that we might need to call a vet. Is that what I'm hearing you say? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? All right. Animal care and management is so important. 
Today's science inquiry method was just one example of a number of different questions you can ask. Science inquiry is not hard. It's simply a process by which youth ask questions and find answers. It's not complicated. Thanks for being with us today. See you around the barn.